Welcome into another edition of the Ute Insider, and today we're here at the Huntsman Center talking men's basketball with head coach Jim Boylan with the running Ute season just around the corner, but a lot of new faces and storylines on this year's basketball team, and guess we'll start with that coach. A lot of new face. I'm having to bring the program with me when I come to practice. What about you? Yeah, well, I told the Crimson Club yesterday we're going to keep the names on the jerseys just so people can figure out who's playing. But yeah, we've got some new blood, uh, an energetic group, a group that wants to be here and be Utes, and uh, it's exciting. I, uh, I think you'll like our talent level and our athleticism, and uh, the future's bright. Let's talk a little bit about how practice has gone. You're about a week and a half, two weeks into practice right now. You, you see the guys a little bit, you, you're limited in workouts and what you can do in the off season, but now that you finally had them on the floor, how's it been? Well, it's been awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of competition at position, which has raised the level of practice. This is a hardworking group. Uh, they're a pretty tough group mentally uh, so far. Uh, our, practice, our practice pace has been just awesome, up and down. We haven't stopped it a whole bunch. Uh, trying to get the tempo where I think it needs to be for this group of guys. Before we talk about, you know, what's coming back, let's talk about a few of these newcomers yes. and some of the guys that have made an impression on you. you. You brought in a lot of new guys, you had some changeover in the program. Through a week and a half, two weeks of practice and some of the off-season stuff, who are some of the, the, the names of newcomers that you'd fans will want to pay attention well, to? Well, I think J.J. O'Brien is a freshman that people are going to take notice of. Um, he's a big wing, uh, can play the three, can play the four can handle the ball, make decisions. Uh, he's got a man body for an 18-year-old, which is always a good thing at this level. Uh, Will Clyburn uh, is maybe that big, big wing that we've been needing, um, who is a complete player, can play the defensive end and the offensive end, uh, can score in bunches, can score off the bounce, uh, is improved shooter. And then, you know, Josh Watkins, we've talked a lot about him, Bill. You've talked to Josh, and uh, he's a guy we haven't had here. Um, he's got speed, quickness, he's a one, he can get in the lane and create, he can play through contact, he's physical, uh, the guys fear him a little bit. I was about uh, to say the one thing he also has is confidence, yeah, he doesn't lack confidence. <laughs> confidence, and, uh, which we need, and um, you know we need improved guard play, and uh, along with our, our length and athleticism we need better decisions, improved guard play, and we need a floor leader, a general out there, and uh, he's making strides to become that. So. Uh, those three guys have been very, very encouraging for us. We're a couple of weeks out from the, the regular season opener. Where have you guys got to get better over the next couple of weeks? Well, I, I think uh, the biggest thing is defensively. I think you have to hang your head on defense early. Um, as a program, obviously offense is a concern. I didn't like the way we were at the offensive end. I thought we reluctantly shared the ball. Um, we need to share the ball. We need to get more easy baskets. But uh, my focus this time of the year is always the defensive end of the floor. Um, we could not get a late game rebound in some big games last year. Uh, rebounding has also been a focus. So if you can defend and rebound, uh, usually you got a chance. And uh, I'm hoping to be improved at the offensive end of the floor with a few more weapons that we've brought in. So you know, you hang in the game defensively, you rebound the ball, and then you make plays in the in late game to win games. And uh, that's kind of what we're pushing for. Coach, it's always great to get the fan support. What do you want to see out of Section F this year? Well, I'd like to see the numbers grow. Uh, they were terrific last year. They added life to the building. Uh, they were here early. Um, Section F has been an awesome addition to the Huntsman Center, and uh, I'm hoping it'll grow and grow and grow. Um, you know, as far as our season ticket packages and getting people in this building, uh, you can see all of our game, home games for $199. Uh, we've got ticket packages that fit the busy family or uh, the busy uh, person out there, and uh, we'd love to have you come. And, and we've got a great home schedule, a very competitive home schedule, and we're going to have an exciting team. All right, last thing with the opener not too far away, what would you like to tell Ute fans to get them excited about coming out and watching you guys this year? Well, I think you're going to see a brand of basketball that people will like. Tough defense, uh, length and athleticism, a running game. We are the running Utes. And, uh, a more skilled team offensively and I'm hoping our fans can rally around this group and uh, make us even better. Well that's going to do it for this edition of the Ute Insider here at the Huntsman Center. Men's basketball season just around the corner so come out this year and support the running Utes and head coach Jim Boylan. We'll see you next time right here on the Ute Insider.